What's up guys, my name is Corner, and today I have my second Redstone for Noobs tutorial. So I'm going to be explaining these for logic gates and um, showing some practical examples of them. So the first thing we got is the simplest of them all, the not gate, which is just a Redstone torch on a block, and this is the output, this is the input, and um, basically all it does is reverse the signal. So if this torch is, or if this, um, oh my goodness, that was a lot of lag. What's going on? We're at 10 frames per second. What the f <sighs> wow, random lag chunk. Do you guys see that? That was weird. Alright. So it's just a torch on a block. When this is on, output is off. Input is off. Output is on. Basic. This is an AND gate, which all it does is, um, it will not output power unless both inputs are on. So, they both have to be on for it to output power. Pretty simple still. I'm not too difficult. Um, that one looks complicated, but it's really not. Um, so this is just an OR gate. It's, um, either output will... You only have to have one of them on for the input to output power, uh, or both of them can be on at the same time. And this one is an XOR gate. Um, that was an OR gate. This one's called an XOR gate because um, it either operates on one input or the other, but if both of them are on, it doesn't. So that's the difference between that and the OR. So um, this can be... Uh, well, I'll show you that, and it's down there. So, the NOT gate just turns the torch off. Pretty simple. Um, the AND gate is a weak combination lock, um, because I didn't set that up. So, you can't turn it on with this switch, and you have to have both of those on, which isn't a very good combination. But, you know, it's it's a basic thing, if um, you just want to confuse people. OR gate. Either one opens. So... Um, um, the AND in an XOR gate. So, I have these two going into, this is just a simple, or a shortened version of the AND gate. So both of these have to be on for that to work. And then the last input goes into the XOR gate so that both of these have to be on, but this one can't be on. So... But um, the problem I had right now was that one opens the door too. So I'll have to um, fix that and I get back to it. Or you can look at my um, trapdoor video that I made a while back. Um, it's in my uh, videos over at the top. You click on that, scroll across, and it's pretty awesome. Um, it explains the um, whole combination lock because I forgot how to do it for this one. And I didn't go back and watch the video. So all this is, is a working combination lock, or not a combination lock, a double door. They open at the same time, too. And this is actually really simple to make. I'm going to show you guys how to make it in this video. So all it is, is these are the torches under the doors. And if that was not reversed, then that one would stay open, which is not good. Um, you don't want that. So um, these are the outputs for the pressure plate. Um, it doesn't matter which one you stand on, they both output power, so even if I had one on each side, it would still do the same thing. So basically, when this output power, this is a NOT gate right here, which is reversing that so that do door stay cl stays closed. And then I just have the repeaters to balance how long it takes to open the door. Because without it, one door opens before the other, and it looks kind of weird. So to do this, all you need is... Oh, oops. Break that. Um, a 1 by, or wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7 by 5 pit, um, 3 deep. So let's go ahead and do that right here. We'll do it again. 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I'll just break that. Oops some on my mouse. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven right here. 
Looks like we found a cave. Let's go ahead and grab our wooden door, which I've retextured to look like glass. One more over. There we go. I think that's, yeah, that's how I had it. And just break every block around it except for the um, blocks under the doors, obviously. And then go two back where the pressure plates will be. Put blocks right there. And I'll be right back. I'm going to fill all this in. All right, so I'm back. And uh, we filled all that in. So now you just have to put your pressure plates on the... Uh, corresponding spots and then all we got to do is wire it up it's actually really easy it looks complex but even if you know nothing about redstone it's not too terribly difficult to do so just place two blocks under the door and you can make this out of whatever you want I just made it out of stone because I like stone and then put two under the pressure plates and under the doors you're just gonna put two torches we'll fix that in a minute um, under the pressure plates just put oops, some redstone and we'll do this side first. So just wire it out right there. Two out from the block. And then a repeater right here. Repeater right there. And just wire that up. So that's that side. So that door will open on both sides. Alright, so now we got to fix this one. Which is actually really easy to do. So just wire it to right there. Right, place a block. Redstone torch to repeat it or to uh, invert the signal, and you're done. That's it. Now you just have to cover it up. So, um, that's your uh, double door right there. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you uh, got some uh, help from it or uh, you learned something, please leave a like and uh, favorite the video. Um, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Um, I'll be doing more of the, oh my goodness, squids in the wall. Um, I'll be doing more um, Redstone for Noobs tutorial, but um, I have school started now, so I won't have as much time to do it as I would like, um, but I'll still try to make it as often as possible. But um, thanks for watching this video once again, and uh, hope you have a great day. See you guys later.